My oh my, check it out. My friend Sean and Bill both have these units. This is an Axial Bomber. They make them look too much fun. So I had to go out and get one. I had my choice uh, between the Axial SCX-10 uh, kit or a Bomber. I could have done a kit as well, but I wanted the RTR version. Check it out. I did change over the tires to these 2.2 outcroppers. Uh, very difficult to find these days, and I put them on some aluminum uh, beadlocks. They are sealed tires. Tires. This truck, I could have done an unboxing video, my friends, but there's so many unboxing videos on YouTube of this truck by other great video producers. I encourage you to check them out. Uh, today, I wanted to set up a course, a fairly difficult one. This is actually going to be my first run with the bomber, so I'm excited to see exactly what's up. I'm going to go up the back way of the rocks here up climb through these two pylons marking them as a gate so I don't want to touch either side in more of a competition style. We're going to come across, come down this rock in between these two gates so it'll be quite a steep fall. Probably have to Austin Powers back it up a few times, go up and down and up and down winding all the way down my rock pile here. Really I want to see how well uh, the, the bomber does because really it, it does seem to perform. Let's get started. All right, check it out. One of the observations I have right away, let me straighten the tires out. Listen to that. Nothing, no hum, no whistle, no whine from the ESC. Absolutely a silent crawler. Come on, up we go. I've added a bit more preload to the stock shocks uh, just because I know what it's like to crawl on this course. There's plenty of holes for the tires to fall into. And if you have too much articulation, it can be a detriment. There we go, trying to get a little bit of a grasp. Let's back it up and give it a little bit of wheel speed here. Positioning, one, two, three. Oh, I hit the gate right away. No rollover though. Let's try this again. There's the rollover I was talking about. <laughs> back out of it. Let's try that again. That back suspension doing its job, articulating exactly how I would expect it to, helping the truck actually hop up on the rock. Now let's see if I can get over this huge gap that's up there, because I'm in a really weird spot. Always having uh, throttle control. Even though I'm spinning my wheels, I've got a pretty good idea of where my trigger figure is, finger is so I can take uh, the throttle off when it's required. And a little bit of wheel speed here just to hop over the gap. Beauty, nice suspension work. So I gotta back up and swing that front end around. So I did touch the first gate, that was a bummer, but that goes with uh, learning. <laughs> And this, I'm gonna be turning too sharply. I wonder if I made the gate too small. No excuses, get through the gate. Back up a bit. Oh, almost. Now my diff is caught. Uh-oh, we're gonna fall. <laughs> Trying to rework it. Get back a new position with my wheels and make it through the gate, very nice. Up through the next one. Pretty steep climb up over two rocks. Man, the sun is blazing today. Making those wheels nice and soft though, which is very good. Hard to get over this one bump, not to touch the gates. There we go, improving my driving skills. Each time I practice like this. A little bit of a hop. Oh! Guess I need more practice. <laughs> up and over, oh. I set up a long course, but sometimes it takes me a half an hour just to get through a few gates. Man, almost too far. I think I can recover though. Look at this. <laughs> I'm barely on the rock, but the gate I have to go through is right here anyway. 
taking it wide so I can hook my back diff a little bit, I hope, without rolling. Oh, dang. Okay, repo. Looks like I'd have to take a full point hit for that for sure. <laughs> That's okay, so taking this extra wide, which is what I should have done to begin with. And then silently, at least this bomber actually comes with a 100% drag brake already activated and a lipo cutoff. And that's good, it could have been went much better. So here I have two sets of gates, one right here that I have to make it through which starts this rock ascent and then at the top which looks quite small and it is because there's a gap and the perspective is a little bit different. I'm going to have to come in here and turn sharply to start going down the other side uh, so I'm going to have to really position myself well here. So up the inclination, I'm going to get that tire hooked on the top. Let's change angles so you can see. So my only concern here, of course, is rolling the truck, which is a great possibility. So I'm just going to back up a little bit, trying to get my twist on. There we go. I want to straighten it out. We're also going to end up hitting that back cone. Wiggle dig, wiggle, 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 trying to move the truck over. Come on. A little bit of throttle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Why am I doing this? Because it's moving the truck forward inches. Yes, I hit my gate, but I did not flip the truck. So that's pretty decent. Let's have a look at it on a wider scale. So there you go. The edge of doom, basically, we're about to fall, but that's not a big deal. Let's see if I can even wiggle my way out of here. Yeah, no problem. Okay, next gate is actually over here. So it's up over this rock. Let's start with that first. Up and over. Good, good, good. Now, I have a bit of a rock ledge, as you guys may be able to see right here. Doesn't really translate well on camera, but it's certainly because of the way it's scalloped, uh, is gonna pose a problem in how I not flip this truck, trying to line it up for that next gate. So let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna back it up and try to hit it a little bit more head on. Let's see if I can reposition my truck. I don't want it to flip, so I'm gonna turn into it, trying to get that tire to make contact as soon as possible on the next ridge down. There it is again, wanting to roll over, turning into it. Man, those are soft tires. But it's only because of the heat today. Look at that, finally, in and out. Positioning myself back and forth to get through the gate. Down the rock, making sure not to hit the back gate. Coming into a side hill area. A little bit difficult to get up on this rock, but we'll see how the bomber does. Again, it's about wheel placement and distribution of weight. There we are. Up and through, very nice. Valley of Doom always being difficult, but with these wider axles, are we able to, there we go. Basically, we wanna straddle each rock so the axles don't get caught in the V-shaped rock, right? Like a wedge, uh oh. Again, talking too much when I should be driving. Teach by by doing, not by saying, I suppose. Uh-oh. Great articulation, by the way. Working my way. Oh, man. It wants to touch that gate. I can barely make it through. Looks pretty bleak, eh? Hey? <laughs> right until I pop this axle out and it's good to go. <laughs> All right. That was a lot of effort not to point out. It looks like my back tire is gonna get it anyway. 
Ah, oh, dang it. All right, I don't want to get caught in that gap. Might as well do it a good way. Once the gate's done, it is done. <laughs> this is a rock side hill. It's both an ascent and uh, a frame twist. Look at this, your wheel is up in the air. <laughs> Just like that. And now it's gonna fall towards that gate. So I wanna turn away from the gate as I'm climbing. There we go. Kinda leaves me right in the middle. And a nice drop, about the full truck height. Oh, simple rollover. That could have been saved. I'm disappointed in myself. Oh, body panel. Right it itself, excellent. Always glad to have that. And we'll just back through the pointed gate. Wow, terrible run for gates today. <laughs> But that's what it's all about, my friends. Shall we do one more? The all fearful bridge of doom. <laughs> you guys are laughing. What is that? There's no bridge of doom. Check it out. All it is is a rock with a gap. It's got a pretty good drop. The problem is the rock starts nice and wide, but gets smaller as you go, and it's on an angle. So it is very challenging for most of my rigs that they haven't been able to do it. During TTCs, it is certainly a challenge when we do the rock course for most people, but it can be done. Can the bomber do it? Up we go. Here we go, here's where it starts to get to be problematic. You can see right here. Starts to get hung up, and as soon as you start to move anything, it twists you around. And since it's a very small surface area up top, you can get flipped off very quickly. Let's see what I can do here. Gosh, the bomber does it! Oh, look at he split. It was just that easy. Up and over. Well, all right. I had a good time with it. I was a little skeptical this whole time, but I got to tell you, the bomber really does kick butt. That was really cool. So you can expect to see more of the bomber, of course. I want to try it out in the mud. I want to try it out with a 3S LiPo. Uh, welcome, Axial Bomber, to my uh, uh, <laughs> RC arsenal. Uh, you, you are certainly a welcome addition to the crawling group. Next, I want to take it onto the backyard crawling course. You guys interested in seeing it? Let me know in the comments section below. And of course, if you're inspired to get out and have fun with the RC hobby, please give this video a like click and we will see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have some fun with RC. Bye.